Well, hello everyone. I thought I'd send you a message to see how everybody was and to let you know what's been going on at school and uh, I guess to remind you what it looks like because it's been quite some time since we've been all, to all together here. So this short video is just going to take you around school, show you what's going on, give you a bit of a background as to what's been going on behind the scenes and it'll end with a little uh, message from us from which we've used from Pixel. It says really what we think about you all. So um, let's go and look inside. So a typical day for the students that come to us um, through the week, we'll start with them signing in at student services and then using the hand sanitizer and then possibly going to wash their hands in the toilet before they go on to registration. Now, I'm walking down the technology corridor and the first thing you might notice is that it's been spruced up. Uh, the site team have been really busy redecorating the whole of downstairs. The whole of downstairs and you can see um, this Sirius and Vega house base looking resplendent and uh, we're heading now down to room 10 actually. Now we can't go there because there we go. There's Neil, Mr. Webb painting outside Mr. Baseford's room. Right, so there's Mr. Baseford. He's there, he's making even more visors. You know that we're making visors for the police force, for care homes and for the medical professionals. So I managed to get into room five um, where the painting's been going on here. You want a bit of green through the window there. So this is the image for the, um, for the straps for the visor on the computer. And you can see them being made, I guess, by the 3D laser printer there. That's what it's called, isn't it? It's laser, cutter. laser cutter, not printer. And then over here, all the different stages of production to make the finished visor and strap. Brilliant. What a team effort. So we're in room 10 now, where our key stage three students will work. They spend the first part of the day after the daily mile, which they do out on the field, a bit wet today. But this is where they spend their time um, doing the online learning, just like you're doing at home. Um, and also um, any catch up work that they need to finish off from the day before. I think you probably noticed already how empty the school is. After the morning online learning session, our students will then spend some time in the library um, doing some reading or other written work. So now it's lunchtime, uh, probably the busiest time of the school day. I'm in the year seven area now and you'll see there's nobody here. It's quite a miserable place, the school, when there's nobody in it. You realise how schools are made by the people who go to them every day. So, straight across here, we're heading towards the courtyard and it's raining. So it would have been a wet lunch today. Um, the reason we haven't seen anybody is partly because hardly anybody's here, but also because it's lunchtime and they'll be in the canteen. So let's go and see how things are over there. So here we go at the canteen. Miss Rousseau getting a usual jacket potato for lunch. Mr. Well, Barham, how are you, sir? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? Very well, there's Chef there. And there we can see social distancing in action. There we go. This is where all the scrubs are being made. It's still lunchtime, so we've only got two on shift at the moment. But what a fantastic job they're doing. Well, I've noticed that when people are on the telly uh, on, from home, they always have books behind them. So I thought I'd come into a room with plenty of books just to do the right thing. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of teachers um, working at home at the moment and um, they're busy checking the home learning, they'll be setting work and they'll be communicating with, with uh, students and making sure you all know what to do. 
But we have five teams and uh, each team comes into school three, time, three days each uh, on a rotor system to make sure that everything is smooth here. But there's a lot more going on. Um, staff have been making sure that people are entitled to free school meals, will be getting their vouchers. We've been trying to keep up to date with all the different announcements that come in every day. We've been trying to write to parents as often as we can. We've been uploading our social media. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, our newsletter now comes out every two weeks. Um, lots of teachers now are thinking very hard about the GCSE and A-level grades that we have to uh, submit to the exam boards to enable them to give the grades in August. Um, we're recruiting staff uh, for any vacancies that we have. We're planning for next year as normal, um, and that means setting the timetable, doing the calendar, deciding when different things go on throughout the year. Um, and we're spending a lot of time thinking about coming back to school. We don't know when that is. We don't know how it will be. Um, but we're watching very closely for any announcement and then we'll be letting everybody know as soon as we know uh, what it involves and what it, what it will be, how it will be for everybody. But the main thing is we're trying to stay positive and trying to help uh, everyone else stay positive. Um, I hope you are keeping busy and happy and safe and staying in and keeping the two metres apart and washing your hands regularly and all the other advice uh, that we've been told to do. Uh, do get in touch if you need any help with anything. There are functions on the website, of course. Um, but also let us know what you've been up to. Uh, we're interested to see what you're reading, what you're cooking, what exercise you're doing. Send us pictures, send us videos. Uh, the ones we've had have been fantastic. But I think I'll leave it there for now. Do watch the next two or three minutes uh, because the video from Pixel um, basically sums up how we feel about you and uh, the school being closed. So until I speak to you again, I hope I see you all very soon. Take care and stay well.